Right, welcome back to part two of what has been a very interesting process indeed, where we've seen 15 handicapper Steve Bauer go through a custom fit process with his driver and irons. And to be quite honest with you, we've seen some significant gains. But now he's got a very interesting part of the bag that still needs filling. Yeah, it's fair to say we did make some significant gains, both in the performance of his irons and definitely in terms of distance with driver. But now we move to an area of the bag which is extremely difficult to fill, in my opinion. Those voids between the longest iron in the bag and your driver. Well, it gets a little bit complicated. The decisions to be made, what type of club, what are you looking for? How do you fill those gaps? So this is going to be a tough one and uh, I'll be very interested in watch, trust me. Right, okay, Steve, um, we've had, I think, fair to say, a very successful part one of this video, which mm. was focused on irons and driver, seeing performance gains in both. And then we moved into the longer end of the bag. So it's gapping, first of all, we ended up, as a reminder, the longest iron in the bag was a five iron. Yeah. I just want to talk about that first of all. Why, why were you comfortable with, with sticking with a five? Because I know there was an option of maybe stopping at six, but you, you carried on with your five iron. Yeah, absolutely. I, because of the extra loft that I got that I was really after, and it, yeah. and it, and it, took, um, it took a few goes, as, yeah. uh, as you saw. But I was reluctant to lose the five iron. It's always been in my head one of my favorite clubs. Yeah. Um, so I didn't really want to sway away yeah. from having that option. I've never really been able to hit my four as well, so I was happy to lose that but my five iron took the heartstrings really and, and with that extra loft Andy I, I wanted to keep that yeah it back. still launched the ball high and I think well I think that's important confidence is huge no matter what sometimes the numbers are saying as well but I think there's there's also a bit of flexibility so in terms of hybrid or fairway wood right now with your current setup where, where do you lean towards you got any more confidence in either or do you don't like both what <laughs> i don't particularly like both no <laughs> that's that's naughty because he's played with me so many times that is an area i really struggle with and um, particularly long par fours trying to reach in two three wood my confidence went years ago uh, i don't have a five wood so i would definitely lean towards a hybrid but even that's probably 60 40 success okay. rate in my in my head um but i'm going in with an open mind I, I might I might be able to hit some fairway woods today I don't know but probably if you push me hybrid would be the way I would uh, probably going to go confidence cool. wise well it'll be interesting to see because one of the things I think that has changed significantly over perhaps the last couple of years I think manufacturers have focused their attentions on hybrids and fairway woods fairway woods and I think they've I think they've changed considerably so I'm interested in this as to whether or not Callaway have something in their range that you can start to feel really comfortable with and would aid you in that part of the game which for all of us is very tough the longer that club gets the harder the game becomes so let's get over hit some golf balls and uh, see where we end up fairway wood or hybrid it was just a waste of a shot to the point where I didn't even used to put it in my bag so and I still might not. I've got an open mind. So let's see how we go for a couple here. Now all that's a bit left. That's probably better than I've hit in years and years, just on the first one. So with Steve clearly impressed with the performance of the Paradigm 3 wood, he carried on to hit a few more shots and collect some data. But Ollie had a suggestion to make. Right, Steve, I have an option for us. That's great. That's really good, by the way. Okay. I wasn't. I didn't have big big expectations, and mm -hmm. that probably exceeded them. The nice thing is, right. So what we can do here is because they were a little bit low and left, I can change the hosel setting to add a couple of degrees. Okay. And put it on a draw setting. Right. So, hosel into draw. So, we're going hosel because I mean, I like that because the gapping wise, Steve, if you have a look here, so you're looking for about 20 yards of yeah. difference carry slash total. Yeah. So, you the fitted driver we've got 190. Yeah, so we want to have this carrying kind of 170 ish, hopefully. So, it's a great, it's a, it's a great start. Okay. See the hosel setting, see if this might tick the box for Very you. Very interesting, this really interesting. Oh my word. I think going five wood with that being a little bit shorter would definitely help with the control. So that trend should continue. I think the interesting thing again is if we loft up a little bit, let's see what we get. 
Love it, Ollie. It's fascinating, so, man. And the nice thing is, is that because of this adjustability, you can tweak it. You know, if if you change things, so if you you know have a few lessons, change how you deliver the club, then all of a sudden, all right, well I can move the you know hosel settings back, so you're not set in stone. And despite the changes with the three wood in terms of increase in loft, it was decided that the five wood at 18 degrees would be the best option, and you'll see an increase in carry distance land angle and launch angle also improved. So with a five wood, the decision as to the next club in the bag after driver, the question now remains as to where do we go next? And that all started with a five hybrid from the Callaway Paradigm range. And it's fair to say that Steve was impressed from the get go with this one. Plan. And those numbers collected were almost perfect, apart from perhaps that descent angle. Well, it's, it's one of the things that people don't, it's, you know, it's the three Ds, right? Distance, dispersion, descent. Right. Descent never really gets talked about. And with an increase of two degrees, we found the perfect club to fill that void. That, I think the, 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 that just feels so good. So yes, I, I think 24, I, I, I don't mind the five wood either. I think you probably would go five wood and the 24 plus two. Right, okay, so another interesting afternoon session in, uh, in the bay at Archerfield Links and Callaway's Performance Centre meant that you've ended up with a really interesting uh, top end of the bag, Steve. And I think the first thing to point out was it's, um, you very much went into this with no preconceived ideas. And I think what you've ended up getting fit for in this top end of the bag is probably testament to that. Because some of these clubs, I don't think you would have chosen before they arrived. But let's start off with mm. the longest iron in the bag. We should point out that we decided it would be the five iron, but that even that was a debate at the end. It's a debate because it's a work back from where we ended up. So let's go from driver, and we tried, or you tried rather, three wood first of all. What were your thoughts on the three wood? Well, f first of all, what I'd like to say is I knew the the biggest challenge in the bag would be the irons because I've always played golf with Callaway irons. Yeah, I love Callaway irons. So I was going from a, a, a decent Callaway iron to obviously a custom fit, top of the range, brilliant feel iron. Now. My woods is my weaker part of my bag, and that's an area where I really felt this custom fit, fingers yeah, crossed, the benefit. can benefit my game. So I went in with an open mind. I didn't like three wood. I've never really had a nice three wood. I hit a three wood, um, as you saw with Ollie, and he tried to uh, add an extra add elevation lot, yeah. as well, but didn't really feel that that was, that was the club no, long term for still me. Still a flatter ball flight. We've done loads on the channel in recent years where personally I've took three without the bag. I know a lot of golfers have. We struggle as average golfers unless you're generating a real high club head speed. It's difficult to pick it up off the turf and get a decent ball flight. It was still quite flat, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Ollie tried increasing loft, um, but ultimately we sort of decided, or you decided between the pair of you, that maybe the sort of five wood was the first club you would put in the bag from driver. Mm. So first of all, it made a good choice in terms of the gap in so yes. we've got whatever we ended up with in terms of the driver carry we had a next club in the bag five which was sitting nicely behind the driver yeah which was 18 degrees anyway so yeah. that was a, that was a good starting point good Perfect. foundation then we were really toying with the idea of sort of seven wood was an option mm -hmm. hybrid you've had in the bag in the past what would have been your previous experience of the hybrids that you used I, I think i said uh, i think i said to ollie probably 60 40 positivity yeah but again, um, the make and the measure wasn't to me. So it was a little bit hit and miss. Some days I'd have confidence. Other days I'd hit a few bad ones and it'd go away yeah. for the rest of the round. And then I, I used the expression, say, say we're playing a 440 you know, par four and I've driven it 210 yards and I've got 230 to go. I didn't have a hybrid. My five iron wouldn't carry it. And yeah. I'm thinking, well, I can't get on the green here in two. Yeah. Now, the, the, the hybrid that I hit with, with Ollie was, was, was incredible. That was another really love at first sight club, I have yeah. to say. Um, I al almost, I mean, in many ways, part of, when you move from the drive, it became the star of the show because you hit it straight out the block. You couldn't believe it, could you? No, I was a bit surprised. It was really good because you said, well, one of the things that's worth mentioning at this point is you say 60 40 in terms of your success rate with hybrid wow. or your opinion on hybrids. I think people's opinion on hybrids in the past has gotten a little bit negative. Everyone's really worried about hitting the, the left shot with a closed face hybrid. And I think there's been a big change in the release of hybrids from 
all the brands in, in the last year or two. And I think they're a far different club. And what Paradigm has done, Callaway have done with the Paradigm rather, it's a slightly uh, larger head profile. Yeah. It's almost like a mix between a, like a mini fairway wood. Mm. And, you know, personally, I think it's a real nice sit behind the ball. But what surprised me, like you said, was just how well you hit it. Because it, first of all, it was the ball flight. Yes. And that was significantly different. Because they were able to adjust. Yeah. And that's, that's something. So straight away, a 24 degree hybrid added two degrees and the ball flight changed. The carry didn't significantly change. And it was just, again, sat perfectly in the gap. But it was, I don't think I've ever seen you pick up a club where you just continually hit it no, on the ball. Same sort of landing area, time after time. And this goes back to then the sort of confidence element that you have and reaching into the bag, you go for three wood. Well, that's a little bit, you know, hit and miss. I've got a nice hybrid here that I'm reliant on. Same with your five wood. Yeah. So that was a real interesting mix as well. So you've ended up really where the gap in was driver, five wood, 26 degree hybrid, hybrid. and then into the five iron. Mm. And that's interesting because normally you would say, you, you'd look at a bag and you'd go, okay, five iron, uh, three hybrid, five wood, three wood driver. That's the kind of natural bag makeup that everybody assumes that you need because that fits the bill. You just shown there by doing the custom fit process. A lot of those clubs weren't needed because yeah. you had your gap in with just three clubs from five iron into your driver. The gaps were covered perfectly. Yeah, I know Ollie felt if I'd put a three wood in, it might only come out once, yeah. twice around on average. And I'd be, I'd be using, losing a club, sorry, from, from the bag for, for no real advantage, really. In, well, in and again, from a positive perspective, the ability to put an extra wedge in the bag, which we've already talked about. So mm. it's just a real interesting process. Yet again, um, wouldn't have found those things out, wouldn't have recognised those carry distance and those gaps unless you went through this process. Absolutely, 100%. Um, so the message is, and I'll ask you the question again for the top end of the bag, and it's, I, you know, I, I sort of asked you this in the previous video, thought process on you know gap in that top end well like, like you said uh, th there's a stigma isn't there there's a tradition you've got to have a driver you've got to have a three wood yeah, you've, yeah. you've, you've, you've you know even got to have a four iron i mean that yeah you know over the years i've carried a four iron sometimes i'll take my bag out and why have i got my four iron in i never yeah. hit it i'm not confident enough to hit yeah. it you know me i like my five iron so um yeah without a custom fit without that guidance without that feel you ain't you, finding those things you won't find those things out and it just proves that actually is 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 nonsense now because yeah. you do not need or utilize all those clubs no and i think that again brands as in this case in callaway there's such a huge offering and a diversity at that top end of the bag to pick clubs that you really suit whether that's on the eye whether that's feel whether that's length of shaft in terms of control you've got to go through this process and uh, and get this done it's certainly in my opinion going to help you game the fear i have it helps steve's game too much <laughs> and he ends up taking a tenner off me in the weeks ahead I, i'm due that by the way but we will uh, that's us done fantastic experience for me to watch and i think for steve to take part in thanks for your time no i thoroughly enjoyed it thank you and uh, in the weeks ahead we'll be doing some follow-up videos that uh, see in reality out on the fairways if uh, the custom fit did its job and if they help steve to play some better golf fingers crossed Right, as ever, thank you for watching and uh, like the other days, I'll see you all tomorrow night.